Today I have the four best price action signals for you and they are not only the best but they are also the most important price action signals that will help you understand any price chart. We're going to start with support and resistance trading and this is the key cornerstone and fundamental building block of understanding price. And what we're doing here is we're drawing a resistance level where we have seen repeated reactions on a price chart. So here we are connecting this high with this high and this high and this then clearly validates that this is an important price level that the market has paid attention to and then the rationale is that in the future the market has a higher chance of paying attention to this level once again. What we're doing then is we wait for the price to get to this level again and then what we're going to do is analyze the price action to see if we can get trading opportunities around such levels. You can see shortly after the market has arrived at the resistance level. At the same time the market has also given us now a support level. Here at the downside we connect this low and this low and it validates that to the downside this is a level that the market has paid attention to and also those levels lead to strong price reactions. We have seen a strong price reaction here, here but also on the resistance area we have seen multiple strong price reactions. Now we want to analyze what is going on here and for that we drop to a lower time frame. We go from the 30 minute to the 5 minute and this is a day trading approach then but you can use this across all the different time frames. What we can see here is first of all a wedge pattern. This is an exhaustion pattern. We call this a wedge in trading. The key here is that the highs are not advancing higher as strongly as they used to in the past and we can also draw a trend line that can come in handy later. We also see here a short term support and resistance area. Here has been a resistance area and this has been a support in the past. We need to be aware of this when we get into the trade. The trade signal is typically given when you see some type of momentum breakout. In this case the breakout happens through the trend line here and it then triggers the wedge pattern. Very aggressive traders would get in here, stops will be placed somewhere above the resistance area. Ideally you want to give your stop some room here because volatility around those breakout points and those turning points is typically much higher. You want to carefully observe how the market is reacting to this level that we have drawn here. It has historically shown reactions and importance and therefore we need to be aware if we see another similar reaction. Then the market moved very strongly with a lot of momentum here to the downside into the level. We broke it and then we are trading below it. Traders who haven't gotten in on the first wedge trade here now may consider additional trade entries on the breakout of the short term support and resistance. And afterwards you can see the market completely turned over. The resistance level has led to another reaction. Of course this doesn't work 100% of the time and very often resistance will also break and there will be a continuation trade. But I've made other videos on my YouTube channel to help you explain and understand what is a breakout and when do continuations happen at support resistance levels. Next one of my most favorite ways of analyzing price charts and this is a great way of analyzing price charts to get an idea of the underlying trend. If you like my YouTube videos then you will love my new trading newsletter. Every Thursday I'm sending out a free trading newsletter with brand new trading tips, chart studies, trading strategies, tips for trading psychology and so much more. If you want to learn more about my free newsletter check the link in the video description and sign up for free and then get my next email next Thursday. When we look at this price chart what stands out? Can you see something that stands out here about the way the trend unfolds? I have drawn some vertical lines and the vertical lines divide the price charts into different trending and impulsive phases. What we see here in the first part is an impulsive phase. The market has moved down quite a lot. Here then we have those so called corrective phases. The market moves into the opposite direction of the previous trending move but doesn't come close to the previous high. This is a correction phase. It shows you that we have a lot of selling interest and not so much buying interest. Here now the market rolls over and continues the trend into the ongoing trend direction to the downside. We have a lot of selling in a short amount of time. Then the next corrective phase comes. The market moves against the trend direction. It moves higher but again it doesn't come even close to the previous high point of the impulsive wave. Then we have another continuation, a very weak corrective phase and another continuation. So the interplay between the corrective waves and the impulsive waves how strong is the market moving into one direction, how strong is it pushing against the trend direction is really important. Let's do another example. What can you see here? You might want to pause the chart and then try to analyze it yourself. We see a strong impulsive phase to the upside followed by a weaker correction. The correction wave is not even able to come close to the previous low point and therefore 
the selling period that is occurring here is much weaker than the buying that we have seen here. Then we have another impulsive wave, another strong period of a buying phase that is going on here. Then followed by a weak correction. The market is moving against the uptrend here, but only for a short amount of time and also not very strongly. It's staying very far away from the previous low point. And this then shows us that we are overall in a more of an uptrending market. And this makes then bullish continuations more likely. And in such a context, obviously we don't just jump on the market just yet and we don't just blindly buy because we are seeing such a pattern. We need to find a few more confluence factors you can use this concept as well on a multi time frame approach where this is your higher time frame and then on the lower time frame you try to find trade ideas into the trend direction that the wave analysis is giving you and you can see after the weak correction that we have seen the market is advancing with a lot of force to the upside and this is a very important way of analyzing price charts because this interplay between buyers and sellers impulsive and corrective waves is observable across all the markets across all time frames. Besides wave analysis, analyzing the daily high low is, in my opinion, one of the most important factors and components and concepts when it comes to analyzing price charts. What we're doing is we are on the higher time frame and we're looking at daily candles here. Each candle represents one day of price action and something really fascinating stands out about trending markets. Obviously, this is not going to happen on all trending markets, but on many. So what we do here is I draw horizontal lines across the high and the low of those price action candles. And what you can see is that we are in an overall uptrend and the market has failed to close below a low point. So you can see the red bars are the low points of the candlesticks. And except for this very weak close, the market was never able to take out a previous low. However, on the opposite side, the market continuously takes out previous highs and then advances the price into the trend direction. So in an uptrend, the market will typically most of the time fail to take out a, a low and it's continuing to take out highs. This is how trends will unfold. Now let's follow the price action. We are seeing that we have a horizontal level here. We could draw it as well here. And we're following the price action. The price action now fails to take out the highs you can see this is the highest point here and the market failed to take it out. But we're seeing here the first candle that is attempting to take out the lows. The low hasn't been taken out when we look at this low, but it's making a run. So something is changing here in the price action. We can wait a little bit and see the next candle. Now you can see the market has completely rolled over. It has taken out a low for the first time in this whole uptrend. The way the market has taken out the low is also very different from here, where we had something like a fake out or a failed breakout. The market took out the low, but we didn't see a lot of momentum. Very big difference from what we are seeing here. We are taking out a low with a lot of momentum. And this is then confirming the downtrend and it can foreshadow more selling to come. You can see the next candle took out the low, continue to weigh down and we didn't even come close to the high. We have a new high of this candlestick, but the market kept breaking lows. It took out this low, it took out this low, and this is how trends unfold. So this is a really important way of analyzing the daily price charts. Obviously, this is not enough to just take a daily chart and whenever the market is closing above a daily high, you just go long and when it's closing below a daily low, you go short, but this is offers a great jumping off point and a great starting point for further price analysis. What I would recommend on the lower time frame, there is an indicator when you go to a trading view, there's a free indicator. Under indicators, you search for daily high. And then this is the one that I'm using, daily high low, unknown unicorn. Thank you for making this great free indicator. And when you apply it to your charts, you will see that you get this channel. The green line is the daily high, the red line is the daily low. This is the failed breakout that we have seen here from the daily chart. This is this area here. And what you see is that the market continuously push into daily highs and fails to reach daily lows until something is changing here. The market continually push into daily lows and fails to push into daily highs. And then the market rolls over and this is how the downtrend unfolds. So this is a great way to enhance your price analysis. I can't stress this enough. This is not enough to just blindly buy and sell based on the daily high low indicator, but it's a great starting point to enhance your trend analysis going forward. And then we also have to talk about trend lines and channels because they are also really fascinating and can help us understand price charts in a much more detailed way. What we have done here is on the one hour chart, but you can do this across all the time frames, whether you're on the five minute or on the daily chart, 
you can look for trend lines and sometimes you will even get a channel. This is a parallel trend line channel. And what you see is that the market to the downside is using this as support. The market reaches into the trend line and bounces higher. And here we have the resistance trend line. The market pushes into the higher trend line and then sells off. So this sloping upwards trend line channel is confirming the bullish uptrend. So as long as the market is being able to stay in this uptrending channel, you would say you are more in an uptrending market and you would typically look more for long opportunities. You can see the market went higher for quite a long time, multiple days, and you can see the market kept bouncing off of the trend line to the downside and also kept bouncing from the trend line channel from the upside and moved lower. However, something is changing here. The market is trying to break out. What does it signal when the market is breaking out of a trend line channel? It shows you that the market is accelerating. Previously, we had a certain slope here and a certain angle of the trend line channel but the market tried to accelerate. So there was more buying interest that suddenly led to a stronger than usual price movement. Is this sustainable? We will see. Shortly after, the market is falling back into the trend line channel and the market was not able to continue this steep attempt to continue the price action to the upside with an increased angle. So this is an important um, finding that we can make. There was an attempt from the bulls to accelerate the trend, but it failed. And what we can do now is we can connect the highs that we are seeing here and we're seeing we are starting to make lower highs. However, we are still in this upward sloping bullish trend line channel. For a trend reversal, you have to wait for the market to break to the downside. As long as the market is in the channel or even above it, you are more in a bullish trending scenario. If the market gets below this trend line, you would more shift towards a bearish sentiment. And this happened then here. You can see we broke below the trend line. The market now uses this trend line as resistance. We are now making lower highs. You are in a bearish environment. And from that point on, when the trend line has been broken, you would typically look for shorting opportunities on the lower time frame. You can see we have the trend line here all the way to the downside. The trend line was broken to the upside. So the bearish trend line was violated and the bearish signal and the bearish sentiment was disturbed because suddenly the market was able to rise more than it used to in the past. And you can see the bearish phase was over, the market rolled over into a sideways period. So this is a great, great way of analyzing trends as well once you can spot a trend line in the market. Not always will you be able to find trend lines on any chart, but when you can, then they offer great help for your price analysis.